hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will try to learn about integer to floating point value how we can see in static plc but before start this video please like share and subscribe my channel this way you will be never miss my upcoming videos so let's get started first of all we will take one close contact of our timer for example t0 we will choose and one timer t0 and value we will give at 5 6 any value we can give just we need the pulse only just for value to show at our data register and here we will take one uh, the move command oh sorry increment command to use our this value of our timer for example d100 i will choose for increment and here this open contact we will choose of the t0 and here simply we will choose any for example contact choose or not choose no problem function we will choose it here move command because of this value of uh, increment this timer value we will move in any data register for example for example d100 also we will choose oh sorry d100 we all already used so d200 we will choose d200 we will move in d300 and here we will choose one command for this integer to friction this is integer to floating point value this value we will choose and this d300 d300 we will choose and move the data in d400 for example and this we will choose for the data 32 bit and click it ok and next we will choose one f addition because of we like to see the value of this d300 d300 and for example we will like to add this 1.5 1.5 value in the in this data register d400 and we will see the answer in d 500 so let's this small program we will write to the plc and let's see click it ok and make it enter and see oh sorry this one mistake we will make this d300 not we need here d300 we need this d400 one stop the plc and this is the use change this data register number d400 because of our value is coming at d400 d400 and d400 we add 1.5 and answer we will take in d500 again download to the plc and click it yes and now we can see this is our d100 which value is coming continuously at our d100 and here also we make one mistake this d100 we have to move in d300 sorry see because of this same like mistakes we will make after we can understand where where mistakes coming how we can correction makes this any nothing no problem but have to be used same like must be understand this t0 is giving us pulse and again and again it will be set reset set reset and giving the some value and this value we will use at this d100 and we have to be move this data register d100 to d300 d100 we have to be move d100 d100 we have to be move in d300 
now say d100 is moves in d300 and d300 we will make conversion for integer to floating point number and after we will take this answer d400 in after add 1.5 and take answer in d500 again run the plc and click it yes and now you can see this which value is coming at d100 this will be after making the conversion at here with the d300 with d400 and answer gives us in the d500 adds in the 1.5 value and answer gives in the d500 and you can see this is the value after the dot any after floating point value if you like to see this will be shown in the continue and after again if you need this value like to make sure this value is running at for this one you can make a conversion here stop the plc and make one more command it here that here little make it here in this line and this is floating to integer when you use this one after this value is d500 is you are coming in floating value and this value you can like to be see you can use any other data register you can choose this d600 and after this original value you can show which is your coming from your timer and see which value is coming it here and this value is coming here when you complete see this one see which value is coming here this value is coming here little program is little i will wear this can little small fonts in view i think so this toolbar this is font this is medium yeah and also this area we will make it delete and make it yes and now your program will be go up click it again download and run and now you can see this value will be continued which is coming at d300 this value is seen here coming if you make it again reset with zero make it zero which is the value d500 no we have to be change the value at d100 for example in d100 we can change because of this value will not change here go make it little bigger and this value will make it zero see now it start from running here your coming value your floating floating value and this is here your value coming for integer value which value coming at d300 d100 and this is coming at this d data data register and if you like to addition make this one like to um, subtraction or something for example to so stop the plc again and this command you can make first have to be delete or if you no like to delete you can use another line no problem here we can multiply for example f multiply f multiply we use this is the d300 data sorry d400 d400 we have to multiply with by for example 1.2 and multiply with 1.2 and which data here we use this d500 so answer we will take at d600 d d500 sorry d500 and click it okay and again run the plc and after this will make will addition it will make addition and after answer gives to you, you in the in the d500 and d500 here you can see this is the integer value and this is the floating value and this value you can see at the hmi inshallah will be next lectures i will show you in the hmi how we can take this data and we can see the value of decimal and floating value at the hmi 
so i hope you will be understand about this floating value and decimal value how we can use these state registers if not understand anything please send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz